Well, what are you aiming on doing now, Tex? Well, I reckon we might as well circle around and go back to town. Yeah, well, I sure will be glad to get out of this saddle for a couple of days. Yeah, me too. We've been combing this country for weeks now. Enough to convince me that Killer Pete doesn't hide out anywhere near here. Well, from my calculations, he must. When we find out where, we've got him half licked. Hey, look. Riding early this morning. Riding? Well, can she ride? Well, maybe Miss Pringnagel taught her. Oh, from what I've seen of her, I think she can take care of herself. I know, but one of the girls at the palace said she rode north. You, north? Why, that's Indian territory. You don't suppose she could? We'll soon find out. Come on. Come on. me, Miss Bill, is how are we going to keep your uncle from finding out we traded with the Indians? Trading's all right, but stealing from the Indians is against the law. <laughs> yeah, you drove an awful hard bargain, Miss Bill. I wouldn't be surprised if the Indians realized it and we had the whole tribe down on our necks. Oh. Indians! Jim. I wonder who they're chasing. Well, anyway, we're saved. Looks like we kind of lost them. Who are we chasing? A girl and two Indians. Say, what are you doing in those dang fool get-ups? Well, Bill here was trading with the Indians, but they didn't want nothing but clothes. Just look at the lovely lot of things I've got. Well, I'm talking to you later, young lady. Meantime, you're going to take those things back where you got them from. Oh, no, Uncle Jim. They're for Miss Pringnagel. You hang me, Sprig Nickel. You, uh, uh, take him back. I sure will be glad to get my pants again. I told you all along you can get another pair of pants. Yeah, but what am I going to do with this papoosie? <laughs> <laughs> 